So now let's welcome TRGP staff, Ms. Angelina, to introduce TRGP regulations. Welcome, Ms. Angelina. Hello, everyone. I'm Angelina from TRGP office. Uh, welcome to join TRGP family. We are hoping you are doing well throughout this challenging time of COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, in our orientation today, this section contact nine focuses, which include the program of overview and the life in TIGP safety concern, cybersecurity awareness, event reminder, and the program regulation, program resources, publication guideline, and the ARC information, and the certificate of student status. I will present the focus one to focus eight. The last focus will be present by my other colleague. So if you need to review today's presentation slides, they are available online. So now you can just focus on our presentation. So let's start the first focus, TIGP program overview. Okay, TIGP is jointly organized by Academia Sinica in cooperation with uh, national universities. So since, since uh, 2002, we have had six directors. Our current director is Dr. Mei-Ying Zhou. She is also our president of Academia Sinica. And uh, there are 13 programs in TIGP in collaboration with uh, 10 national research universities. This slide shows the full name of 30 programs with our partner universities and establishment year. Okay, this map shows the location of our 10 partner universities. Several universities are located in the northern Taiwan, two universities located in the heart of Taiwan, only one is located in the southern. Okay, this is show you the map of uh, Academia Sinica. We point out two important venues for you. For example, number nine is a TIGP dormitory, which is nearby the main gate of Academia Sinica. And the number 10 is a TIGP office building, which is not located the main campus of Academia Sinica. Okay, as of now, we have over 500 students from 33 countries, not including you guys. You are our new coming students. For our current students, about 64% are from international, about 36% from the domestic. Okay, for graduates, there are more than 516 students graduate from TIGP. TIGP students have had an excellent track record of publishing in high-impact journals. There are about 2,000 journals has been published already. So for our graduates, what are they doing right now? In our record, about 17% they work for university or research organization serving as a professor, postdoc, or research fellows. So about 30% of them are working for high-tech companies or private corporations. Okay, they are the member of the Department of International Affairs and the TIGP team members. We are looking for see you in the near future. Okay, our angels, program assistant. They are very important to you during your study in TIGP. We want to introduce them one by one. So the first one will be Vicky from CBMB. Please, Vicky, could you please turn on your microphone and, and say hi to everyone? Hello, everyone. My name is Vicky and I'm from the CDMB program. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, next one will be Bonnie from MST program. 
Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Bonnie Lin from MST program. Nice to meet you all. Thank you, Bonnie. So, the Jennifer from MBS, she is not, not be able to, to join to this event. So, the next one is Jessica from MCB program. Jessica. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Jessica I'm from MCB program. Welcome to study in Taiwan and hope you enjoy your PhD journal and uh, uh, get a very wonderful day here. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. The next one is Zhi Rou from BIO Bio Program. Hello, everyone. I'm Zhi Rou Lai from Bioinformatics Program. Welcome to THP family. Okay, the next one is Flora from Nano Program. Oh, Flora, nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Flora. The next one is Rebecca from MM Program. Hello, everyone. I'm Rebecca from Molecular Medicine Program. Welcome to join us. Thank you, Rebecca. The next one is Yu Wen from ESS Program. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to see you. Welcome to Taiwan. Okay, thank you, Yu Wen. The next one is Vanessa from Biodiversity Program. Hello everyone, I'm Vanessa from Biodiversity Program. Very Thank nice you. to meet you all. Thank you, Vanessa. So next one is Vera from INS Program. Hello everyone, I'm Vera from INS Program. Nice to meet you. So the next one is Juliet from SCST Program. Hi, I'm, I'm Juliet. I'm from SCST Program. Nice to meet you all. Okay, the last one is our lab, the only one male angel. Is it from SNHCC? Quan, are you there? Hello, everyone. I'm Zheng Fun from SNHCC program. Nice to meet you all. Hello. Thank you, Quan. So, it is our angels of the GIGP program. So, you can contact them if you have any question. Okay, let's move on the next slide. Focus to life in TIGP. What kind of life you are living in TIGP? Let's look at. Okay, the TIGP environment on the campus of Academia Sinica. You can access the gym, indoor swimming pool, courts, bookstore, medical service, restaurants, food court, and the libraries. However, due to the COVID-19 condition, before you enter these venues, you will be required to wear a face mask and a scan a QR code by cell phone. So, and nearby the campus, we have a shuttle bus, service, metro, U-bike, post office, supermarket, and a convenience stores. There are also two shopping malls. Uh, one is a city link, the other one is a CTBC Financial Park. Okay, outside of research, our students enjoy a lot of activity we arrange. For example, museum tours and a cultural event. Every year, we arrange one day trip for our students to took, took in them to Pinxi, Bitan, Inge. Those are famous sceneries in Taiwan. By attending this event, you can meet new friends and build up your networking. Okay, maybe for your first year in TIGP, public transportation might be one of the good choices in your daily life. Here comes the QR code for Metro Map, and here is a QR code for U Bike website. All details you can find from the internet. Okay, let's move on. Next one. Next one. Wait a second. Next one. Box three. Seventeen concerns. Okay, as you see on the slides, Taiwan has a beautiful scenery. However, please be aware of a drift change from the lake. The lake's surface may look calm and flat, but underneath there could be a dangerous current deep enough for the broken waves and unseen objects such as locks and boulders. When you see this uh, uh, warning sign, you are not allowed to swim in here, so it's dangerous. Before you go on the trip, 
Always watch the weather report first. During typhoon, do not go to the seaside as Taiwan is in located the tropical weather zone. Therefore, the freak waves are extremely dangerous. Okay, if someone is drowning, here are the steps. Call out loud, ask someone for help, and, and wait for professional help. Please do not go into the water and try to save the person by yourself because your safety is our concern. Okay, move to focus four, cybersecurity awareness. What's a cyberspace? Cyberspace is an electronic of an interlinked network of computers. So be aware of hackers. So for cybersecurity, everyone is responsible where you can Connect to the internet on campus or in TIGP dormitory. Do not download illegal softwares, videos, or films. Do not visit unsafe websites. Furthermore, do not open the email sent from unknown senders. The reason are you might be hacked. And the reason to you are be tested by the Computer Center of Academia Sinica if you are quote you need to take a cybersecurity awareness education course. Fox 5, CIGP Invent Reminder, welcome event. Due to the COVID-19 conditions, the welcome event will be arranged by TIGP program eventually. So it will not be big gallery party. So the TIGP program assistant will send you an invitation. Box six, program regulations. Okay, it's a, let's a talk about your stipend. As you know, the stipend for the first year student is 34,000 Taiwan dollars per month. For students who perform well, the stipend will be extended for two years. For the tuition fee, TIGP will subsidize tuition fee for international students for five consecutive years during which you only need to pay the same amount as the local students do. Please be noted that if you applied for suspension any time during these five years, the subsidy cannot be delayed for later use. Tax-free. The stipend provided by TIGP office is tax-free. Please also be aware of that. The stipend is not offered during the determinant of starting. Next, for TIGP student, please do not work outside. The purpose of a stipend to you is to focus on your studying. Therefore, students are not allowed to work on or off campus part time or full time. About your stipend will be transferred directly to your post office account. Please remember to open an account and the post office and your earliest convenience. If you are living in the TIGP dormitory, the rent will be automatically deducted from the stipend per month. The leave of absence regulation. If you take leave, you must tell your program office. Each program has different regulation please ask your program for details. Make sure you follow the regulation, otherwise it will jeopardize your right. If the leave duration is over than 14 consecutive days, including weekend, the stipend will be temporarily suspended until you back. Require attendance. Okay, as a TIGP student, you are required to attend these uh, three courses. Detail will be presented in next few slides. First, academic research ethic integrity. It is uh, your responsibility as a student to know, understand, and follow the ethic integrity policy of Academia Sinica and a partner university. Therefore, this ethical course is very, very important for you, which has been arranged on 23rd October. It is online course. There will be online check-in and a check-out. If you cannot attend on that day, you need to come to the TIGP office 
for DVD makeup course. The second one is a laboratory safety training course. For the student who needed to do the lab rotation, you must take this course. Most of the domestic students should have completed this course in Chinese version, and a few international students also completed this course already. If you have not attended any library safety training course, we are organizing an English version in October and November. Details will be announced soon. The last one, Chinese language class especially for the first year of international students. You must take this Chinese language class, which is designed to help you to adopt a life in Taiwan and get more opportunities for your future job hunting. So please remember Chinese class. Box 7, Program Resources, Research Fellows, PRGP programs offers these fellows recently, we welcome you to join this competition. So application announcement is released every Sunday, or uh, not Sunday, every summer. Next, travel grant grant. We provide travel grant. We encourage our service students to attend the international conference. Detailed information, you may contact your program angels. As a TRGP student, you are welcome to attend this lecture to learn from the Nobel laureates and the distinguished scholars from around the world. Professional Development. This course is organized by MCB program and it welcomes all TRGP students to attend because we care about our students' future career development. We also arrange the following event such as resume writing skill, interview preparation, and uh, we take our students to visit a biotech company and the laboratories. National Biotechnology Research Park is next to TRGP building, so they provide a lot of job position also. In addition, job fairs for both the field of life sciences and the mathematics and the physical sciences welcome our students to attend. Being TIGB student, you can apply for Academia Sinica RD card. The benefits are listed here. You can look through. You also can apply for SSO account to access this service. All application states you may find out from student package online. Handbooks. For international students, you will receive an easy Chinese handbooks from your program assistant. We encourage you to bring it with you all the time during your first semester. The TIGB student handbook, which contains the key information for all students. We also welcome to join the TIGP FB book. Emergency contact card. So for any emergency, please bring it with you all the time. Its size is sent us with a credit card. It is portable. After the orientation, please remember to take this back from your program assistant. It also contains the emergency card I just mentioned in the last slide. TIGP certificate. We know it's too early to tell you about this. Once you receive this PhD diploma from your university, you also can apply for TIGP certificate. It is free of the charge. Box A, general requirement and a publication guideline. Okay, by the end of the first year, you need to select your thesis advisor. Generally, you need to take 30 credits to graduate. For details, please contact your program. Qualification exam. Generally, it should be done by the end of the second year. 
publication, please follow regulation of your program. How to write affiliation? Let's see the next slide. When you publish a paper during your time in TIGP program, your authorship should follow the format as the below. First, A, your TIGP program name. B, your partner university. C, affiliated institute of your advisor. So you can see two examples here for your reference. So next, okay, upon the graduation, please follow the regulation of a university for two things. First, this is defense requirement. Second, English proficiency requirements. Details, you may contact your program assistant. Okay, it's a just a friendly reminder. After the orientation, you need to do the following step within two days. First, watch two videos. The link has been sent to you in the email of TIGP student package. The video is about Academia Sinica introduction, and then the other one is about those regulation and enforcement rules in Taiwan. After watching the videos, please remember to sign the TIGP program student regulation form. We need to collect it. Therefore, we need you to upload it to the cloud folder. It is a cloud folder QR code and a link. You need to find out your program folder first and click on it. Then drag the file to the folder. Remember your file name should be your program, then your name. For example, if you from CBMB, the file name first should be the CBMB, then your name. Okay, thank you. If you have any question, you can write down then when you do the online checkout and then at the end of today's orientation, TIGP office will compile the questions and reply all together to you. Finally, if you need to review today's presentation slide, they're all available online. Thank you.